Mike DeWine is pushing for more people to volunteer at their local fire departments. Most of the departments across the state use the help of volunteers. And our Ken Brown is live in Clarksville outside one of those departments right now. So Ken, what's the governor's plan to get more people through the door? Help it out. Well, the governor launched two public service announcements today that he says will be broadcast on TV stations across the state. And the goal is to help out departments, help them get volunteers in the door. And the department you see behind me, the Clinton Warren Joint Fire District, uses the help of volunteers within their walls says 70% of the fire departments across the state are volunteer. In recent years, the number of volunteers has gone down and the number of calls firefighters are running on has increased. Clinton Warren does have paid firefighters, but they also use the help of volunteers. One of those volunteers is Don Fugate, who used to be the chief of a fully volunteer department in Warren County. He tells us there are many challenges for volunteer departments when they're able to get people interested. There's three issues, one, people that are willing, people that have the time and a lot of volunteer departments, the state of Ohio will reimburse you for training up to a certain amount, but you have to front the money. So if Ken Brown comes to me and says, I want to be a volunteer fireman at your fire department and you fail your class and I paid for it, I've lost. Yeah, and losing that money can be tough on a department with a tight budget, as many volunteer departments do have. Now, the Joint Fire District here in Clinton Warren uh, does have paid employees, but again, they also use the help of volunteers. And, you know, Fugate tells us that if you want to help out, but you don't think you can run into a burning building, you should just call your local department, talk with the chief, because they need help in other ways. They need help with IT. They need help with fundraising. They need help with people who could just simply do some paperwork for them. So there are more ways to help out than having to gear up and run into a burning building. Reporting live in Clarksville, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Yeah, Ken, I know this has been going on across the, you know, the first responders, law enforcement also dealing with a shortage. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, but when it comes to firefighting, the the training that's involved in this, yes, it does require hours. Yes, it does require classes, but it is something that most people can do. And whether you want to run into a burning building or you want to help out on the EMT side, there are options for people that uh, help out at these local departments. Good to know. All right. Thanks so much, Ken. Well, the Bengals, they face the Bears on Saturday.